Hi, we are one day closer to our time to meet Jesus. The rapture is near and I'm so excited about that. But today I wanted to speak about a specific verse that I believe has been misunderstood in the church or it has not been fully taught correctly. Um, the Holy Spirit just gave me some revelation today and I just want to share it with you and hope it brings comfort and peace. So this morning I had a 7 a.m. prayer call and throughout the call there was a reoccurring theme and that theme was judgment and God is getting ready to judge the earth and um, you know there was even a scripture that said for it is time for judgment to begin with God's household and if it begins with us what will the outcome be for those who do not obey the gospel of God when that scripture was read I could kind of sense fear in that prayer call and I just want to clear things, some things up from what the Holy Spirit revealed. So when we're talking about judgment, I've heard numerous times in the past people saying, well, God's getting ready to judge the church. God's going to judge his believers. And, you know, it brings fear or guilt or condemnation on the believer. And that is not for us. I will explain more, but Jesus was judged in our place so that we here on earth do not have to go through that judgment. The believer has already been declared innocent. So um, for non-believers, judgment will be a much different story. But for those that are in Christ Jesus, there is something called the Bema judgment or the judgment seat of Christ, that is a good judgment. That is nothing to be afraid of. That is when God looks at our works and we will receive rewards. Now, whether we receive a full reward for what we've done or whether some of those things get burned up and we receive the partial reward, it is a good thing. And that is after we are with God in his household. So listen to the scripture again. For it is time for judgment to begin with God's household. And if it begins with us, what will the outcome be for those who do not obey the gospel of God? You know, we obey God. We obey the gospel of God. We are his followers. He saves us. And yes, judgment begins first with us so that we can receive our rewards. So when does that happen? Not while we're here on earth. That is when we are with him and he's looking over everything we've done while we were here on earth and that we're being judged with rewards. We're given rewards. So judgment is not fearful for the believer. Um, is it coming soon? Yes, but that's a good thing. We want to be raptured. We want to meet the Lord in the air and we want to receive those rewards. That is a great thing. And does it happen before the non-believers judgment? Yes, in sequence it does. So yes, I believe the teaching of, well, God's going to judge the church first. And you know, it's not on earth church he's not judging us here on earth first in a in a harsh way it's that yes he's going to judge us up there where we're going to get our rewards and then the non-believer who has rejected god will be judged at the white throne judgment which is at the end of the millennium so Second Timothy four verses seven through eight says, I have competed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Finally, the crown of righteousness is reserved for me. The Lord, the righteous judge will award me in, the, in that day. And not only me, but all who have set their affection on his appearing. He's about to appear in the clouds and we are about to meet him up in the air in the clouds and we will be judged, but then the earth will be judged. God will open up the scrolls and the seals and that will be terrible judgment here on earth for those that don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. On Revelation 5 verses verse 5 it says then one of the elders said to me do not weep see the lion of the tribe of Judah the root of David has triumphed he is able to open the scroll and its seven seals and he is the one that is going to judge the earth and that is a fearful thing if you are left here in the tribulation if you do not go up in the rapture that is a fearful thing you know God will judge the sheep from the goats there will be judgment but for the Christians, we are to have peace and we are not to worry. Jesus 
you know, he already, the judgment was already poured out on Jesus on the cross. And it's just, it's amazing news. So I just, I just wanted to share that with you because I believe it hasn't been taught that way. And the Holy Spirit, as, as I was on that prayer call and I kept hearing repeatedly about God's judgment and God's judgment and God's judgment, I could feel people, the believers even being afraid and there's nothing for us to fear. There's nothing for us to fear. That judgment will be wonderful. Um, it's it's going to be, it's going to be, you know, exactly, exactly what he says. That we've competed well, we've kept our faith, and that he's got an award for us. Um, there's another scripture, 1 Corinthians 3, verses 11, the verse 11 says, speak it speaks of believers building on the foundation of Christ Jesus. It's not unbelievers. Our work will be evaluated and tested by fire, whether there's a full reward or loss of some of that reward based on our motives and things like that. But we ourselves are saved. It's a beautiful thing and it's nothing to fear that judgment is nothing to fear will it happen first will it occur to the church first yes but not on earth we're going to be up there and it's going to be great we're going to be receiving rewards we're going to be with jesus it is going to be so beautiful but the 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 phone call today the prayer today where the holy spirit kept talking about judgment and judgment and it's about to occur it is about to occur but it's going to occur here on earth and god's going to open up those seals and it's going to be terrible that time of tribulation but for us judgment is not to be feared we are going to be rewarded so i just wanted to kind of clear that up and say that's what the holy spirit revealed to me today and i know i've heard teaching after teaching years ago of people being like well god's gonna come judge the church and this and that and and no god took it on the cross we are not judged we're not judged like that he doesn't do that the blood washes us and he just rewards us and he loves us um so again john uh, 3 verse 18 says whoever believes in him is not condemned but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of god's one and only son we are not judged because of sin we will be judged and rewarded for what we did our works on earth so don't live in fear of being judged um, is the judgment coming soon? Yes. Um, there's a scripture that also says Psalm 96 verse 13. Let all creation rejoice before the Lord for he comes. He comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples in his faithfulness. That is, he's going to judge the earth, but we're not going to be here for that. So if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, our time, our, the church age is about to end. We're about to see him soon. And don't be, a fear, don't be afraid um, or fearful of judgment. Um, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. The beam of seat judgment is good for us. Um, we'll be rewarded. And so um, God just also spoke many, many scriptures about peace. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way the Lord will be with all of you. And so let the peace of, of Christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you are called to peace and be thankful. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We've been restored. We've been made one with God. Thank you, Jesus. We have peace with God. And yeah, it's just, that was on my heart. And is it going to happen soon? Will there be judgment soon? Yes, there will. But if you're a believer in Christ, there's nothing to fear at all. Just keep obeying him. Keep doing his word. You are the group that is saved. You are the ones that are saved. There's a scripture that says there is only one lawgiver and judge and one who is able to save and destroy. But we are the ones that are saved. We are saved through that judgment. Will he destroy the earth? Will there be those seals that will open? It will be a terrible time, the tribulation time. But the believers in Christ Jesus 
have nothing to fear. Jesus was judged in our place and he will not judge us here while we are on earth. Now, there is a such thing as people reaping and sowing. If you don't believe in the Lord Jesus, um, you know, the enemy can do whatever to somebody that has denied God and is in clear rebellion. So do we see bad things on earth? Yes, but you know, the wages of sin is death, but Jesus came to those, he came to rescue those who would let him. So let him, let him rescue you. If you haven't already cried out to him, thank you, Jesus, for what you did on the cross. Thank you, God, that you've forgiven me of my sins. Thank you, God, that when I stand before you and that you judge me, you judge me with the things I've done on earth that have been good and you're going to reward me. And if I've done anything in the wrong motive, those things will be burned away and I'll just have less of a reward. But God, you've saved me. Thank you for that, God. Thank you for that. If you haven't cried out to Jesus, then yes, you have something to be fearful about. Judgment will be a horrible, terrible thing. I would not want to stand in front of God and have guilt you know be guilty but his blood has washed all our guilt away so just have peace in that and hope that um scripture just hope that that revelation that the holy spirit spoke to me it speaks to you as well today and god bless you